Hi there, you're with English Coach. I'm Simon and I'm here to talk to you today about living to live and living to seek a purpose and why there is such a confusion between these two things. So the first thing that happens in most people's lives, most people who have been raised by parents who are quite, uh, let's say, demanding and have high expectations, is that they will teach or promote the idea of living with purpose, which means living in a way that helps you to seek out objectives and live by those objectives until you attain them or achieve them and then create new objectives. What's the problem? The problem is that a lot of people say that this is not really living and being so that you're not giving yourself the option or, or the or, or the time just to be, just to live without any um, worries or, or, or focuses on the future, but enjoying today for today and enjoying this kind of uh, existence, this experience of existing on the earth, which isn't actually a terrible thing. I think it's, it has a lot of merit to it. The only problem is if we go to the other side and say, well, I'd like to dedicate my life just to living and just to being, because I think that's uh, a, a nice morality, but also perhaps a uh, superior philosophy in, in life. When you come across people that have lived this way or are living in this way, where every day is free, they're not necessarily making great use of the time. And, you know, talking in, in general ideas, talking about the majority of us human beings who have our own failures, who, who are full of defects, we are, we are full of, um, you know, we carry a lot of baggage from the past. We're trying to work out what this, what this world is about, what, what we mean to the world, what the, mean, the world means to us. We carry all this baggage and all of these mistakes and all of these defects. What does it serve us to spend years lying on the beach and just relaxing and doing nothing? Uh, are we actually getting to know ourselves through that? And um, the answer is generally no. Generally, you, you get accustomed to that kind of lifestyle and you expect less in the end and you live for less in the end and a certain amount of your life decisions are made not by you but for you as you are not 100% capable of taking responsibility because you're more accustomed with living to be, having leisure time, taking things slowly, not having a job, not having any responsibilities. Therefore, the world comes in at some point and makes decisions for you, whether it be decisions about health, your finance, uh, where, you, where you can live, how you can live, etc. When we're talking about seeking out a purpose, going back to seeking out a purpose, is there a danger that you became, become too fixated on just achieving that purpose and miss out on smelling the roses, of course there's that danger. It's just as common as all of the people that I mentioned before that have this kind of free and easy living style that take on zero responsibility and therefore don't function properly uh, in the world uh, and don't contribute really. So not that contributing is is what it's all about but contributing certainly certainly has a positive impact on us and going back to the purpose yes yeah, so yes people do get fixated on those things it's very common both of those things uh, getting obsessed and and becoming fixated on on objectives or being too lazy those are the contrasts the middle way is to give yourself uh, a lot of both in the case of uh, purpose, I think it is completely necessary for you to have some kind of purposes 
not just in your roles, but a purpose in what kind of person you want to become, which does necessitate planning and projecting and then acting, you know, and then taking time out to do absolutely nothing is also absolutely meaningful and great for your life. If you can, if you can balance your life a little bit like that and have some time in the weekend for you to give yourself that guilt-free nothing, that guilt-free nothing time that you can really, you know, bathe in your selfness if you like and not worry about the rest of the world and cut off yourself from television and cu cut your, sorry, cut yourself off from social media, television, all of these things and just focus on living and being in the moment yourself without planning or looking at any kind of stimulation or or stimuli then you can tell yourself you know i have a little bit of balance now when i say balance i'm not talking about perfect balance there's no perfect balance i'm not talking about this kind of false idea that there is some kind of pure balance that you can have between purpose and um and just living and being there's no such thing as this balance there is only what you can give yourself in terms of your priorities and desires. And if you're going outside of your priorities and outside of your desires, at some point in your future, in your short term future, you will correct that yourself. So anything you plan for yourself that is not part of your own priorities and your own desires, you will sabotage it. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, about balance because balance it doesn't really it exists to a certain point but it exists in what you can do uh, in what you can actually apply and what you can walk the talk in doing so if I if I'm extreme if I'm an anxious person and I'm focused more or less almost 100% on my purpose and I get anxious quite often it's going to be very difficult for me to switch off and give myself some quality time. So what I'm going to have to actually do in this situation is choose a time in the weekend, a short time where I just think of nothing. I just think of nothing and I just do nothing. And that gives me some quality. But if I expect too much of myself, that's not going to continue. So if I do, if I do too much too, too early, that's not going to work out for me. Okay. So that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show today. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. And I just want you to hold on to the idea that purpose isn't bad. Living to be or living to live is important, but they're not exclusive things that you, you don't have one or the other. If you're not mixing them to a certain extent, you're missing out on opportunities. So you can see through our conversation today, what you can actually apply can you give yourself a little more living time? Do you need more purpose? And then ask yourself that question. What can I do from this day, day one, uh, to either improve myself on my purpose or improve myself in my living and being? Thanks for being here on the video with me today. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later on English Coach. Thanks.